Right now there's probably people reading this and they're thinking to themselves, what is a Stinson Reliant? Well, this morning I woke up early and I couldn't get back to sleep and I was thinking about my dad's Stinson Reliant. Now a Stinson Reliant is a small, single engine airplane. Now I may as well start right at the very beginning of my dad's flying career. And by the way, this is not a Stinson Reliant, this is a Tiger Moth. But this was the very first type of airplane that my dad flew. He learned to fly in that at the Winnipeg Flying Club. Now the club eventually upgraded to what you would call more modern airplanes and they started using Aronkas. This is an Aronka Champ and this picture was taken actually several years later and that's my little brother in the back and dad was taken for a ride. They're just about ready to touch down. Now I was too young to remember this but apparently the first airplane that dad had was a 40 horsepower Taylor Craft and it would have looked much like this one right here. Dad told me that the closest he ever came to having a bad accident with a plane was in this plane. What he did was he flew it out to my grandfather's farm, he landed it in a field, and he was going to take Grandpa up for a ride, and I guess they had trouble getting off, and they almost hit the trees at the far end of the field. The thing was incredibly underpowered. Now Dad had two more different kinds of airplanes just before he had the Stinson Reliant. And one of them was a CB. And this plane, although it had a lot more power than the Taylor Craft, I think it was 225 horsepower, it, because of its shape and its weight and design, if you get four people sitting in that, you're not getting off the water. Now, I don't remember the CB too well. I do remember it, though. But the one I remember a little better is this Fleet Canuck. And here you see Dad and Grandpa dragging it down to where they can put it in the water. I don't know why it was out of the water. But anyway, you see that little guy sitting in the back? That's me. I guess they figured if they stuck me in there, I'm not going to get run over by the tractor. Now the next plane that Dad had was the Stenson Reliant, but I'm going to skip over that and save the best for last. For one winter, Dad flew this Cessna T-50. It was used uh, quite a bit in World War II, and I guess there was quite a few of them left over after the war, and somehow Dad got his hands on this one. One thing that was sort of unique, if you could call it unique, about this plane is that the wing spar was made of wood. And, of course, it was susceptible to rot and termites. Now, this plane Dad got when it was practically brand new. I think it was in 1956. And this is a Cessna 170B. And uh, it's got 145 horsepower. Now, that doesn't sound like a whole lot. But because of its very efficient design, it was able to carry three people and their emergency supplies anywhere you wanted to go. This plane was the uh, forerunner to the very popular Cessna 172, which is probably the most common small plane in the world today. This is the last plane that Dad had anything to do with, as a missionary pilot anyway. It's a Cessna 180. Now, a 180 is basically a 170, only it's got a 225 horsepower motor in it. In fact, the wings on a 170 will fit a 180, and vice versa. Most of the flying that Dad did, and in fact probably over 90% of it, was either on skis or on floats. And there's a reason for that. My dad was a missionary pilot, and he flew around northern Canada and uh, to various remote mission stations, and of course, no runways, but lots of lakes. Now here Dad's got the 180 on wheels. Well, that's just so that he can wheel it around while he's waiting for the snow to come, which in northern Canada comes pretty quick. Okay, now finally for the Stenson Reliant. And that's Dad. And uh, I think this was probably his favorite plane because he talked about it a lot. It was by far the n not the newest plane, but I think it was his favorite one because it was uh, very powerful. He had souped it up uh, when he got it. I can't remember where he got it from, but when he got it, I know it required a lot of work. They changed the engine. I think it had a 300 horsepower engine. And he put in a 450 horsepower, uh, what they call a Wasp Junior engine. I can remember him bragging about how powerful that was. Uh, he would say, it's got the same engine as the de Havilland Beaver. And he was very proud of that.
Now, Dad and some other guys rebuilt this plane in Winnipeg, and I can still remember, as a little tyke, seeing it hanging from the hangar ceiling from the uh, rafters, and they were uh, putting the floats on it. Now, I guess this obviously was the summertime, so they took it down on a dolly to the Red River, put it into the river with a crane, and I remember Dad saying years later that he was concerned that maybe he wouldn't be able to get it airborne before he got to the bridge. So he, he said, well, I guess I could always go under the bridge if I had to. And <laughs> anyway, I still remember Dad saying he gave it the throttle and it leapt into the air. And I still remember hearing Dad say that. It leapt into the air. Well, I guess that oversized engine and only him in it only stands to reason. <laughs> now, I was about five years old, going on six, I guess, and uh, I can remember the tremendous roar of that motor. I can remember being kind of frightened whenever Dad would start it, and I can well remember plugging my ears when he would first start it up. And uh, if I think back, I can hear that engine even now. <laughs> Right now in Edmonton, Alberta, there's an aviation museum that is restoring Dad's old plane. Well, I guess it's not Dad's, but it's uh, CFOAY, the very same plane. So uh, it's going to be kind of interesting to see what they do with it. I doubt if they're going to put in a Wasp Jr. engine. Uh, they'll probably try and restore it back to the way it was when it came out of the factory. And that'll be nice too. And I wish these guys all the best. And I guess a little bit of Dad's old Stinson Reliant did rub off on me because I got my pilot's license when I was in my early 20s. That's me. Oh, about 45 years ago. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you for watching. <laughs>